protesting his blackness or selling out his blackness. You ask me what that would mean to there me. There was That's no the blackness that I would have. That's why you're confused. But I'm not There's confused. No, yes, you are. There no, no, no African American, no black. You didn't have that dialogue that you're using now on me. But I'm not using it on you. Yes, you're you are. You're using it. You're saying this is what this means. But you this said is what, what does it mean to me? So I'm saying but what, no, what but is it? No, you're saying that because you weren't from. You don't come from that era. You don't even know what I'm talking about. So you don't come from 19, uh, 1850, but you still talk about it. So you still talk about, about the 60s. Meaning no, you're not that no, old. No, but I'm saying you're 20 you. years older than me. No, but I'm just. I'm <laughs> saying you. I may be 100 years older than you. You're, you're not. You're, you're, I'm saying for you, for your youth. It is confusing for you because your life is different. That's you why think I, differently. That's why you I ask you, and you have what do you no mean idea by what a Negro is? Well, you don't I, have a you don't have a clue. Well, then I'm asking you to explain it. I and just you're explained just, it you to didn't. you. No, yes, you didn't. I did. Well, I'm sorry. I'm a smart guy. I'm, I would have caught the explanation well, you, had well, you, you given you should, one. Well, you should get smarter. No, you're not giving the explanation. He was the perfect Negro, and that's not negative. What does it mean then? The perfect Negro. What does that mean? What is the implication behind that? What do you want it to mean? I don't care what it means. Yes, it does. Apparently, it's important to you. So, what do you want it to mean? No, it, it's, what, you what brought we, it up. What you brought it up. He just wants your definition of the perfect I would gather from, You guys from the time. asked me a question, and I told you the question. Because you, you said it. I was asking you just to clarify, what does it mean, the perfect Negro? In the context of the time that he was around, yes. he was the perfect Negro. Yeah. As opposed to say Nat King Cole. You know what, what, what it meant? No. That he could screw your mama. How about that? Guess who's coming to who dinner. Cares? That's what it meant. My mother fucked a lot of black guys. Yeah. That was just I'm her just saying, okay, well, fine. I'm saying. She was the first couple video makers. Yeah, so now, what does it mean? That's what it means. It, that's still not a good explanation. It sounds negative, and it sounds like it was meant to be. Well, I almost. I, listen, there's nothing I can do for you. I'm not a psychiatrist. I think oh, pa Paul. A lot of things, Paul, that you say come off sounding a little negative or just mysterious. Like you're not sure. It's like was that sarcasm or was he like being sincere? Yeah, yeah. That's all. That's what I'm saying. So the, when you so when you saw Sydney's movies, what did you think? He was fucking great. He was great. He was a great actor. He was a powerful guy. He certainly didn't come off as a guy who went out of his way to appease anybody or to play a softer mm. or subservient role. That's what I thought of Sidney Poitier. Yeah. Defiant one. He's a brilliant actor. Yeah, of course he was. First black to win an Oscar. We know that. He probably should have won another one for in, in the heat of the night. He probably should have won for that as well. He wasn't the first black to get an Oscar. Manny was from Gone with the uh, Wind. Right? First black. Uh, yeah, but didn't she didn't win Best Actress? Did she? Supporting actress. She won a supporting. I'm saying the, yeah. the best, the best, best acting. I should have clarified. I don't know well, nothing about the no babies. Uh, no, that was Butterfly McQueen. You're getting well, mixed up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're getting all mixed. Ah, you're getting, you're getting your mammies mixed. Up. I thought that was a mammy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. I don't even know what's going on. That was Butterfly on. McQueen. Oh shit! I thought Mammy was the fat one. But the Bob McQueen was a little skinny one. Oh, with, she was you know, a remember, skinny one. Remember, remember? God yeah, see? Damn me. You two, you two are getting along now. I like that. <laughs> you two are getting along. Oh, we're just talking about old films. Oh, so nice. <laughs> talking about old films he together. He doesn't even know who Mammy is. Ah, oh, sorry. I, <laughs> I don't know oh, nothing about Mammy. No, that was one of my I'm confused by this Paul Mooney guy. <laughs> That's confused. too funny. Oh, you two used to having racial discussions with either black people or comfortable white or, or people who, or white people who are uncomfortable asking, what are you talking about with that? That's what's. That's why you're getting annoyed if somebody's asking you, "What do you mean by?" We're that? just talking movies. Come on, you ever see Birth of a Nation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once. Yeah. Once was enough. Worst yeah. comedy I've I ever seen. Yeah, I walked out on you that. You know they didn't have a script. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it was just they winged it, and they, 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 winged it and they were all in blackface. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I gotta, I gotta yeah. rent, I gotta rent that one. Yeah, you gotta rent that uh, one if you can find it. I know that's that's a hard one to find. You get it on the internet. Who was the lead? The female. Uh, who the fuck knows? Cameron Diaz. No. <laughs> was it America's She's dead. Sweetheart? She's dead. She's dead now, the one. The, she was a silent film star. Yeah, yeah. Yes. America's Sweetheart, Mary Pickford. People are... Can, you want to take some phone calls? Let me say hi to Rich in Philly. Rich, oh, what's shit. up? Hey, boys, how you doing? Pretty hi, good. Rich. Hey, Moody, I think I speak for a lot of people. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? He said... Can you... Your volume's on the bottom right. He said, what the fuck are you talking about? You're... I don't understand a single thing you're saying. I mean, you're speaking English, but I don't understand a thing you're saying. I can't hear. Go ahead. He's, he's basically is asking, what the fuck are you talking about? He's, he's talking confused. about a few things. What are the things, though? What do you want, Andy? What do you want him to clarify uh, in general um, there, every, Rich? Everything. Um, how I'm not an American. How, what the hell a perfect Negro is. Um, how about everything you've said you want into the high guys? He, I, I think he clarified what the perfect Negro was as much as really? Paul That's will. But as far as Americans go, he said it already. He said, you know, uh, Indians and Mexicans apparently are Americans. Yeah, what, what are the Indians? You know, they realize 
the cradle of civilization is what Mesopotamia. So there was Mesopotamia in the interior at some point. So they yeah. walked here across the, like the land bridge thing eons ago. So the, the taint. It, it, so they walked across, across the across taint the to get taint. to America. The taint that uh, connects uh, Russia right. with uh, uh, Alaska. There you go. So, it, so the Indians weren't here originally either. God didn't put the Indians in, you know, the corner and say, "Here, this is yours." They, they got here also. So I don't know what he's talking about now, Paul, to tell you the truth. You and Paul should sit in a room together. I have no idea what you're talking about either. <laughs> uh, 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 Let me go to Bonnie in D.C. Bonnie, what's up? Very, he was very strange. Bonnie. Bonnie. Hey, okay, I, you guys have got to rewind the tape. Is anybody going to call him when he said, well, why shouldn't Barack be in the White House? He's an American. Well, then why aren't we? Why well, how is, how's Barack, Barack an American and we're not, uh, Mr. Moody? I took that as sarcasm. Oh, was it sarcasm? Yes. Yes, no, it wasn't. He said, why shouldn't he be in the White House? He's American. <laughs> no, I said it because all of them have been saying it. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's, it's easy. Yeah, no, you stop. It's a joke. You stop. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. All right, and let's, I'm a all right, let's go goddamn yeah. white bitches, right? No. They never know when to shut no, up. No, You she's fucking a, white bitch. No, she's an uncle woman. That's all. No. Uncle woman. Yeah, right. Let's go to Kevin in Houston. Kevin? Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning. Hey, Mr. Mooney, it's really funny to me how you sit there and you regurgitate a bunch of crap that you've heard somebody say and pass it off like it's your own when you're sitting there totally contradicting yourself the entire time, acting like you're this... 128 year old person that lived during the Civil War, and you're not. You sound like a fucking ed uneducated idiot. Wow. wow. All right. Would you like to uh, retort? <laughs> you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. You're right. You're right. Thank you for enlightening me. I'm glad you called. Thanks a lot. No problem. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. Just right. call again. Call again. You're, you're just brilliant. You're a genius. Let's go to Eric in Houston. Eric. Hey, Paul, hey, I'm a fan, just to tell you that. But, you know, I, I heard a bit about you doing about how you hate Howard Stern. Because, you know, he, he has a comedic radio show, and he made a uh, racial remark or stuff like that. And you got all pissy about it, but you do the same thing in your show. You you know, you attack... I got pissy at, at, at Howard? Yeah, I'm saying, but you... You got me mixed up. You got me... So hey, well. you got me mixed up with somebody else. I have never yeah. come after Howard Stern. No, no, I'm saying, you didn't go after Howard Stern? You didn't... You didn't have a whole bit how, how you were calling him an uh, idiot and you were calling Rob and a slave? I never called him an idiot. Nope. You got it wrong, brother. You got it mixed up. You got it mixed up. You should call Howard and talk to him. I never called him that. You got me mixed up, brother. All right. Hmm. Awkward. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Don't we believe you. Problem? I don't know, Howard, Paul. I don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? You think Howard would let me on his show? Come on. Yes, I think so. Honestly, <laughs> I, I, I think so. No, that's... To, to, to be confrontational, wake yes. No. no. Please, I am waking up. We no have a way. show like no that, way. and we, no we have people on who we have confronted. Yeah, but you know how many times I've done that show? Come on. I don't know, actually. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times. Okay. He's got it mixed up. They're like crazy out there. What is Black is the New White? It's a book. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just can't like, get an answer out of him. He's like, a I un okay, I understand. <laughs> Physically, yes, it has covers yeah, help us and a little pages. Bit. We're trying to mill. sell books for you. The white what? man's trying to sell books for you. <laughs> what is the, the title, Black is the New White? What? Where, 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 where did you... Uh... Well, let me answer. It's a title. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he would answer. <laughs> it's the big letters on the front of the book. Yeah. You're like a Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> <laughs> just talk around shit. Yeah. It, does that have, uh, you know, any significance? I mean, black is the new white. Is that a commentary on maybe uh, today's culture and, and whatnot? You're living proof that black is the new white. Really? Oh, yeah. How's that? Right, now, how? Yeah. Right, please, yeah, yeah. please. No, yeah. this please is elaborate. where you have the problem. Uh, the problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, that's the You're not good the with the follow-up questions. Everything you're not good with the follow-up questions. Everything that you guys say is correct but and, you don't have you're, a, you're innocent and, you're really and, and bad it's not at the follow -up question. and it's me and i'm the bad no. guy i'm the big bad guy I'm just, and when i leave no. here i'm gonna see to it that none of you have a job i'm gonna see to it about your neighbor the oh, bad guy's gonna fix all of you when i oh, leave here oh shit no you just have a problem with follow-up questions oh yeah of course. that was a very good follow-up that was a good question <laughs> that was a good question <laughs> what was the uh, uh, original question anthony if it is a commentary on today's society yes, black yes, is a new white and you said right. you are Proof of that. Yeah. I just want to know how. And the follow -up I'm being sarcastic. Would be, why would you yeah, say that? I'm being sarcastic. I, we understand I, I sarcasm. Understand. <laughs> We're very no, but, uh, good. Uh, it, I don't think it, you it, understand anything. It, I, think oh, that's, shit. I think what it you does, understand. Yeah, go it ahead. does seem to be uh, a commentary, though, on what's going on today. 
Yeah, black is. is the new way. It it just, it's, it's, a, it's about my relationship with Richard Pryor. It's about humor. It's about comedy. It's about my grandmother. It's about a lot of things. No. I don't want to spoil it. Just get the book and read no. it.